Hey everyone, so today we're going to be talking about how to enhance your hair to get waves, whether your hair is straight and you want to get a haircut like this or hairstyle like this, or if your hair is wavy, how to enhance it. So just so you all know, this mannequin head has perfectly straight hair to start. There's no perm. This is a mannequin head with straight hair. It's not like it came with, you know, naturally wavy hair. It's 100% straight. So for every, anyone who's wondering if they could get their hair like this, yes, you can, because I have done this and achieved this on perfectly straight hair. So let's break down what you need to do. So first thing, take note of the silhouette of the actual style. When I say silhouette, I mean this area in through here. In through here, just the overall shape of the hair. The one thing you'll notice is that there's some length right throughout the front here, but also this length kind of connects and works its way down into the sides. If we take a look here, you can see that the hair on the sides is actually below the ear. Here's the, here's the ear right here, and then this falls just below it like this, and then it's able to feather back into this. So this whole shape has to go from shorter in through like the corner of the eye or the bridge of the nose, all the way down to the back here. It's one big solid connection like this. So if you're cutting your hair yourself, trying to tap this at home, <clears throat> the only way to make this kind of feathered look or start the outline is to create a, you know, a, a, a straight line here and then work your way down to the back. Again, this is gonna be fairly difficult for yourself, but anyway, I just wanna make sure you understand. So let's, t let's now talk about the actual length throughout the bottom here. Now the length throughout the bottom is really your own preference. So the longer you have the hair down into here, the more of a mullet type of shape it's going to look throughout, you know, having this short and this a lot longer in the back. What I tried to do on this haircut was to keep everything fairly balanced so that it all works together and it looks, you know, very modern and more of one haircut instead of having it like really disconnected and, and too mullet like. So again, it's all your preference. If you were to keep your hair longer in the back and you wanted everything to be more balanced and simply just keep it longer throughout the sides here, just make sure everything is flowing together. This will have to be longer. This has to be longer. This has to be longer. It's all got to flow. This haircut in particular is all about keeping the balance. The next thing is what do you do as far as the layering? So yes, this whole entire haircut here is layered. And you can see from me pulling the hair straight out from the head, it's all coming out in through here. And you can see how this is all blended in and tapered in. This is all done by hand. No clippers uh, were used in the, in the making of this haircut. And the entire uh, haircut is all pulled straight out from the head. So holding it straight out and cutting it. The length is probably, I would say, about two and a half to three inches long. Again, it's all personal preference. Depending on how short you want to go in the front, if you want to have more of a shorter front and have it go longer in the back, then you simply gradually just cut the front, you know, shorter the start, maybe cut it to here. But this hair will spring up. If you cut the front too short, then it's gonna look ridiculous. You have to make sure you leave some length to be on the safe side because when you're trying to make hair wavy, you, it's gonna spring up like this. So always keep it a bit longer no matter what. <clears throat> so the front, again, for this particular haircut comes down to about the, you know, the bridge of the nose in through here. And then this is all layered. So let's talk about that and see how that's all done here. So by pulling this up, you can see this is all coming straight out from the head like so, and then slightly, slightly getting longer as we get towards the back. Again, I just wanted to have a nice fluid shape to the entire haircut. Next, let's talk about this area in through here. So we've got the top, the corners, in through here, and the sides. So I'm trying to, I tried to keep everything fairly balanced like this, and it got gradually longer as we get in through the sides just because I wanted it to seamlessly flow into the back. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you don't have this connected and there isn't a solid flow, then all of this is not gonna look right. If I were to cut this really, really, really short, I wouldn't have enough hair to enhance that wave, right? Or it may not be as strong. So a lot of this really is about the haircut, making sure the entire thing is layered 
And then we're gonna talk about now, which is the styling process. And this is very, very crucial. So I always suggest two products. One is my 25 spray, which is this product right here. 25 benefits in one spray. It's an, really an ideal primer spray for styling your hair no matter what. It's got 25 benefits into it. If you purchase this, make sure that you press down firmly, really firm on the nozzle or else it's gonna shoot out like a laser stream. You've gotta push down firm because it's more of a solid type of a liquid consistency. Next, my number one selling product right here, which is Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave is my sea salt spray and it's ideal for creating texture and adding some sort of waves to your hair. So what are you going to do? When your hair is damp, after you spray in uh, some 25 spray, then I would suggest maybe spritzing on, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, six spritzes or so of Tidal Wave. You're then going to let the Tidal Wave just absorb onto the damp hair, just let it fall onto the hair. And then next, we're going to use another tool of mine, which is my Ionic blow dryer. Now I do sell this on my website, shop.thesalonguy.com. It comes with a magnetic diffuser and a magnetic attachment right here, a nozzle, which comes right on, which is very, very helpful. Now a diffuser, I'm just gonna demonstrate this on low heat or low air, I should say. The heat should remain always the same. This is more about the speed. So this is a minimal speed. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna scrunch and then let the diffuser do all the work. So scrunch and then let the diffuser diffuse the hair and let that product absorb into the hair. So I'm gonna be working my way around the head shape, scrunching and releasing, scrunching and releasing. And what this is going to do is really add that nice shape to the hair without making it frizzy. Now, how do you not make this frizzy? by not touching it. The more you touch your hair, especially when it's you know wavy already or curly, you, the more you touch it, the more of a frizzy mess you're gonna create on your hair, okay? So less touching, the better. Then you just wanna let the diffuser do most of the work. And then if you want, you can finish it off with maybe, again, two or three spritzes of Tidal Wave on it while it's dry, just to seal the deal and have a lot more extra control. So don't touch your hair while you're styling it too much. Don't run your fingers through it. Don't mess it up. This is a set it and forget it type of look because the minute you start to run your fingers through your hair, uh, especially if your hair is natural wave or curly, you're just gonna just destroy all that hard work you did and it's gonna be an absolute mess. So once again, leave it as is. Just wanna thank you all so much for watching and if you are interested in purchasing any of my products, hi there. Use code YouTube20 at shop.theslong.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.